Nice. Oh, that's sweet. So what we've got happening in the MMA world, I think the first thing in the MMA world is you need to subscribe, you need to check out our good stuff, website, Facebook, MMA, Twitter, all this sort of good stuff, so that you can win stuff. We oh, get away, go fast. Everybody away loves free stuff. Free. Help us out. Help us out. Nice. Scottish Grappling Challenge was on the other day. It was in Kilmarnock in Scotland. Uh, I took part and uh, I never got a medal. I got submitted off of everyone, but it was a great day out. Check out the photos on the website under what's happening, all the information, all the latest news under what's happening. What else we got? John Nicholson, he won the absolute division. Fantastic. Yeah, Congratulations. The Dinky Ninjas. Nice. Okay, now up in the scale a wee bit, talking about fights. Up in the game. scale? What are you saying? The competitions are in there? No. Alright, okay. Fights is going to come up. Hopefully in the near future we'll talk about BJ versus John Fitch. I think that's a bad I think that's a bad fight for, for BJ to be quite honest. I think BJ Penn would get destroyed. Literally, Fitch is uh, a he's a huge hulking humpback bearded mofo. He's just wee moon faced turd. <laughs> I'm not BJ fans here, and it's good because it's about time the muscle mill came to the light and seen BJ Penn for who he really is. A toe rag. A toe rag. So John Fitch oh. is just going to do what John Fitch does, he's going to grind him, BJ Penn's going to find it hard to use his boxing, he's going to find it hard to use his jiu-jitsu because, but, you but, know... But he won't finish BJ, because he don't finish Oh no, anybody. he doesn't finish anybody, but he's going to... I mean, BJ Penn's going to know that where he's been. I believe he could fight anybody about GSP and win with a decision. He could have been he could have been rolling with you the other day and it would still have been a decision. The level is irrelevant. He finishes no one. Ran over. <laughs> but he's going to win. Who else we've got coming up? We've got uh, Tito versus Little Nog. Little Nog. Now this is supposed to be last chance alone for Tito. I hope so. I haven't said that. It's, it's all been good guys he's been fighting and I don't think he's shamed me so in any of his fights I think he has that <laughs> <laughs> was on his yeah. last fight that was a close that was a close decision his last fight against Matt Hamill that was that was appalling and up until quite I think he's shamed me so in any of his fights I think he has <laughs> that was on his yeah. last fight that was a close that was a close decision his last fight against Matt Hamill that was that was Appalling. And up until quite recently, he was the only person that could hang with Mishida. Up until quite recently. A year and a bit, but he's only fought about five times in five years. Anyway. I, I, think, I, th I think the bad thing about Tito is Tito says, I'm brand new, I just did this surgery, I'm at back at fitness. He loses the fight and goes, Oh, by the way, I had another he's problem. Me he's mentally he ill. He's back in, he gets surgery, comes back out, I'm 100%. He goes in, he fights, he does the win, he comes out with, but what? oh, I had another problem. It's like, what I will say about the fight is, they've gave him a fight who's a big name, but it's an achievable fight for him. And the reason I say that is, if you look at uh, Little Nog's last two fights, they've both been against good wrestlers, and he has struggled. So, if Tito can up his game, this isn't a fight that he has no chance of winning. He could grind out a decision here. Probably not finish him, but I think he's got a chance of winning a decision. Now, there's been quite a lot of other guys cut for the UFC. Yep. Get Matt Brown or Ship Shack. If that's how you pronounce it, I'm not sure. Harris. Who else have we got cut? Rolf Harris. I'd Rolf Harris, huh? But it's quite funny all these guys get cut, you know. Do, is there no a, a union? You know, a union of fighters? Are these people not and they have the ability to safeguard their income? No, I mean, that's maybe something that these high level fighters have got to start thinking about. Uh, some way to protect their livelihood. I think the problem becomes is everybody wants to be in the UFC. And if you're sitting down with Dana or whoever they thrash out your contract negotiations with, sign that or don't sign that. That's your two options. Big show or not. Or go back to. Or go back to your wee crappy organisation. It's much healthier for MMA if Strike Force and that can raise their game and bring this up there. It will make everything more honest and fairer. And that brings us to Strike Force, who have had uh, in the last uh, competition there had some spectacular knockouts. But as you stated earlier, is there a bit of mismatching happening here just so that we can see these spectacular knockouts? I, I think that is the case. The UFC, not always, because they do put the fight on for the sake of the ratings, but generally they try to match top five guys, top three top ten guys against each other whereas I think Strike Force are making bad matchups so as you get an exciting ending to a fight which I think's wrong 
Oh, the last uh, one, we had uh, Dan Henderson, Bigfoot, uh, Silva and Robbie Lawler all winning by spectacular KO. beasting. Uh, it's the only way to describe it, beasting. Whereas the UFC card that was they were competing against each other, by comparison, a lot more technical probably, but a lot less spectacular. So... It's all about the ratings, gents. It's all about the ratings. And oh, there's been a lot of guys cut for the UFC, but there has been somebody that's just got a new four-fight deal. Rosemary Palharis, I think his name is. Great grappler. We've seen him against Marquardt, a lot of different guys. He was a, not cheated in his last fight, but there was obviously a bit of misunderstanding there that came to him losing. But regardless, he's got, he's got at least four more fights anyway. So. The stump, I do believe he's uh, uh, the tree stump or something. That's his nickname is. Okay. Brazilian meathead, I like it. <laughs> now, the thing I want to talk about, i just seen it online today, is James Tony's running his mouth again. He's targeting Rampage Jackson, uh, calling him a black redneck. <laughs> you got to love that, man. you got to love that. Uncle Tom. See, the thing about James Tony is you're absolutely guaranteed that he will fight Rampage at some point because he has this magnetic way of... Well, he got a fight with the UFC to start with. He got half a million. At, well, we never got half a million, but he got half a million. You know what we mean, because the IRS man took all his money. But uh, If he's got a good t-shirt and he goes to cash converters, he could do the <laughs> same as we did. If he signs it, you know, but well, the guy's got the best. The best. It's I almost like Top Trump's. He's got, he's got the B from the CP signature. Country man's fist. He no longer needs anything else in cash converters. I think... Uh, I don't think he'll get that fight. I think Rampage would need to get drug addiction, lose any money he's got, <laughs> be at the bottom of the pile, then he would fight him. He knocked somebody over, she lost her baby, he drove down the street and he's thing, he went crazy, uh, he lay in the street. I bet that was last he's year. At, yeah, he's still at the top of the food chain, <laughs> know, he's Hollywood but he made a movie after that, there was absolutely, well, or practically no consequence to that, so... It's crazy, man, it's a crazy world we live in. What uh, else we got? Other... Not a rumour or gossip, but just a bit of news. Luke sent us his picture for look for Singapore. Was it the winner of the t-shirt from last month? That was the steely uh, t-shirt that we got at SFC, and it's not our Countryman's no. Fist signature series, but still a decent picture. Picture. Thank you very much, Luke from Singapore. So we sent that oh, Singapore. That didn't help our cash situation either, to be <laughs> quite honest. That was one of the main reasons it took, <laughs> took us over the edge when we went to cash converters. You know, I had to sell that. <laughs> Getting uh, rings for gold, you know, cash but, for gold. But having said that, the reason Luke won is, Luke won is, he checked out the website, he subscribed, he's on the Facebook. You do that, you win prizes, we'll send them anywhere. Free stuff. You can win, No, I mean? But more needs to be said. Or you can just write positive things like, uh, this is the worst show I've ever, what language do you speak? Yeah, I'm sorry about writing that. <laughs> I think all that's left for us to do is say goodbye. Goodbye. See you next time. The UFC 125. This is the MMA show. Yeah. Good time.